Yeah. Here we are again. Man, time goes fast. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's what I wrote. Oh yeah, cockpits. Cockpits. Uh, we were just talking earlier about how you can't call them cockpits anymore. Do you guys know this? You're supposed to call them uh, flight decks. I don't know, it's kind of stupid. Um, it comes from cockfighting, I guess, which is interesting. Because I've never, have you guys ever been to a cockfight? <laughs> Nobody? No one's been to a cockfight? The West Hollywood one? Yeah, one of those. It was at, at the, the Halloween parade. Um, two big guys, they were dressed as chickens. I thought they were roosters. I was wrong. Um, anyway. Uh, so, I think that, uh, it's interesting, uh, this, this George, uh, what's his name, Soros? George Stephanopoulos? No, Santos. Yeah, he's got like 10 different George names. Santos. Yeah, Santos. Suarez? Is it Santos or is it Santos? I thought it was Soros. Santos. Soros is the other dude who's, he's working with uh, the Illuminati, I think, right? Uh, yeah, anyway, did you see the video of him in drag? It was awesome, so good. So fulfilling to see that. It just keeps getting better and better. I think if him and Herschel Walker got together and ran, just for fun, just for the jokes, so we get a little bit more, squeeze a little bit more juice out of the whole process. Um, yeah. I brought a friend today. Um, I've never brought, a, I've never brought like a, a date on to one of these things. It's kind of weird, but uh, doing it. I said, fuck it. You only live once. She knows that too, and for some reason she decided to come here with me. So, it says a lot about a person. I don't know what she was thinking. Um, I basically uh, get calls from my family now that I'm starting to get more work as an actor and telling me that they believe in me and friends that I haven't talked to in a while. Like, uh, just so you know, man, we really believe in you. And I'm like, cool, thanks for the encouragement. It's been 15 years I've lived in Los Angeles, and now I'm getting work, and you guys decided now's the time that you're going to believe in me when I finally started believing in myself with, on my own. So I love you guys, but thank you so much, family. They're the greatest. They really are supportive, though, all joking aside. I listen to people who are like, my family told me to get a real job, and my family, you know, they, they're like, why don't you, you want a job, I'll give you a job, and now I'm, I took this job, I'm making all this money, and I quit acting, and, and I'm like, yeah, yeah, that must be nice. So, um, I had nobody to tell me I was fucking crazy for the last 20 years living on, I didn't eat ramen noodles, because that's the stereotypical thing actors eat. I just ate um, slabs of turkey and bags of arugula. Didn't even bother with the bread, just, arugula, turkey, like a caveman would probably eat. Um, I've kind of felt like uh, the cavemen do as far as uh, being aware that you might need to run at any time since all the, the uh, Nazis have been, since Kanye unleashed the Nazis. Um, so I'm just on guard now. Uh, we were talking earlier about this, the shooting that happened. It's crazy. We were right down the street from it the other night. And I'm always, I'm just all, whenever I go into any public space now, on guard. And I don't know if that's like some genetic thing or it's just me from smoking a lot of weed. It's just natural paranoia, what it is. Um, I think, hold on one second here. I wrote something down I wanted to say that I wanted to try that it was new. Um, oh yeah. Do you think? Do you guys think that pedophiles only eat baby vegetables? <laughs> like, like baby corn, like only baby eggplants, baby tomatoes. I was thinking about that the other day uh, when I saw this pedophile lived across the street from us. He was walking around handing, handing out vegetables from his garden. Was, they were all baby vegetables. And I said, you ought to be ashamed of yourself. At least hand out the vegetables once they're full grown. 
And that's what gave me the thought for that joke. I didn't say that to him though, but that is what I thought. Um, he seemed really nice. It was weird he was walking around naked, but um, yeah, I'll leave that part out next time. <laughs> uh, there, uh, what else about pedophiles? Oh yeah, pedophiles make for a great conversation. When I find out that people are watching that, uh, that Dahmer show, it's, I immediately question why and who they are as a, as a person. I don't like anything that's violent, really. I don't like to watch it. I've seen enough. Like, you turn on the news, you get to see everything you need to see. Um, we went over all the serial, kill serial killer stuff years ago. So why are we trying to relive these horrific situations in graphic detail and try to call it art? It's not art. It's like serial killer porn, masturbatory, weird shit. And, but women watch it more than men. That's, that's the scary part to me. That is a fact. Google it. Um, yeah, it's really strange. If anyone, do you guys watch that show? Yep. Sounding like you're, you look weird. I can't see your face, but. Yep. I do. I watch Dahmer. You can come over and watch it sometime. Mm. Remember Billy Bob Thornton and Sling Blade? That's what you sound like. I can't see you, but that is the vibe I'm getting. It's awkward when um, it's awkward when you go into uh, any sort of discount store as a Jew, and you're the only Jew there, and you think to yourself, I'm, "Am I the only one who wants a good deal? Is it what's going on here? Why am I the only one here?" And then you think, "Have I have I taken this stereotype of Judaism too far?" My grandmother set a terrible example for us growing up. She used to steal uh, ketchup packets and sugar packets and anything on a table, napkins. If we went to a restaurant, there was stuff on the table that the restaurant had put there. It was not there when we left that meal. And she would also call companies, tell them your product was terrible. And they'd be like, so sorry. She actually, her favorite products. She would call her favorite companies, tell them how shitty their products were, and then they would send her coupons for free products. And she was a fucking mastermind. She got so much free shit. And from telling people how terrible the shit they loved was, she said uh, American Airlines, before they caught on to her, every flight, she got a free flight after every flight. Before they had like computer records of everything like they do now, this was like 30 years ago, she was able to con them out of so many free flights. She would just say that they were rude, that they saw her star David, that they treated her differently. She had a gold necklace. You know how most women have their name, like the nice gold cursive necklace? Hers said, not Carol, which was her name, hers said, whatever. <laughs> whatever. And she would... That was her thing. That was her, if she did stand-up comedy, it would be whatever. So I said to the guy, "You're a piece of shit." He looked at me and I said, "What? Whatever." And that's how my grandmother was. Except she didn't sound like uh, if Don Rickles and Andrew Dice Clay had a baby. Um, yeah. People say I look like Jew Rogan. I get I get a cancery Robert Downey Jr. Sometimes. I also get. Uh, if Pete Davidson was uh, doing better than you would think. Um, yeah, sometimes I get uh, Patrick Stewart, and Patrick Stewart and, and Vin Diesel jacked off together and came in a bucket. Uh, I would crawl out nine months later. Might happen, you never know. Any other bald guys, insert them with a funny punchline. That's what I look like. Anyway, any other? So name another bald guy. Another good one. Anyone? Ving Rames. Yes. I'm like Ving, Ving Rames if, if, if he could not find the meat anywhere. Because he's the, the Arby's voice. No? That one didn't land? Okay. I'm like Ving Rames if nobody wanted to fuck him in the ass in Pulp Fiction. No? You said Big Rames. I mean, it's, I think it'd be an easy laugh there for you because we were waiting for it, but no. That's my time.
I, I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. My name is Evan Chaffron. Thank you to the lovely Megan for listening to this and everyone else. Be sure to tip your bartender.